Japanese pop star Yamaguchi Maho was assaulted and is now apologizing for making a scene. You're watching What's Trending, I'm Shira Lazar. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more social media news daily. Yamaguchi Maho is part of the J-pop group NGT48, and she recently took to Twitter to describe a very shocking and scary incident. She claims that while she was walking to her room, two male fans emerged from another room, grabbed her by the face, and dropped her on the floor. They heard the elevator doors opening, got scared, and that's when she took the opportunity to run away. Maho claims she spoke to her management and found out another member of the group had leaked her phone number and information, including her address and her parents' address. Maho also spoke to the police, who arrested two 25-year-old men who were later released and not charged. And that's when she decided to take the matter into her own hands. Feeling unheard and scared, Maho shared her story with her fans, hoping if she spoke up about it, it would ignite change. I mean, we've seen it here in the US with the Me Too movement. Women are finally being heard and taken seriously, but this didn't happen with her in this case. And unfortunately, her management is sweeping this entire thing under the rug because they're worried about the brand and how it all might look. And because of all of this, she was absent from a few events and she later apologized for causing any trouble. And her thinking that she was causing trouble is what continued to trigger a lot of people. She said, I'm truly sorry for the trouble I caused. I am sorry for being an inconvenience to those who took care of me. I'm sorry to shock you guys. Some might get scared to hear what happened to me. I am really sorry. I wanted to help those who are going through the same experience. Girl, you don't need to apologize for something bad that happened to you that was out of your control that you were a victim of. It is not necessary, it's not appropriate. You should be heard and supported, not being told that it was your fault. That's crazy. This apology caused quite a stir in Japan where violence against women is a huge issue. And obviously, still not being taken seriously. Many activists in Japan have taken to Twitter to make the story trend on social media with the hashtag JusticeForMahohan. Japan is ranked 110th out of 149 countries for gender equality, according to the World Economic Forum. Women are still expected to behave in a womanly way and are often expected to apologize for things even if they are the victim. That may be strange to us over here, but over there in Japan, culturally, people actually do apologize for disturbing the wa, which means societal harmony. And being a J-pop performer is even more limiting. In the J-pop worlds, artists are marketed as being extremely accessible, blurring the lines of privacy between performers and fans. In fact, this isn't the first fan assault that has made Japanese headlines. In 2014, a man attacked two members of AKB48 with a saw. And in 2017, an obsessed fan turned stalker stabbed Mayu Tomita dozens of times. So now, of course, people are calling for change. A petition on change.org that supported Yamaguchi and called for the manager's resignation had more than 53,000 signatures before it was closed on January 13th. Obviously, we still have a lot of work to do here, but we can't ignore and forget what is happening globally for women out there. The discrimination, the sexism, and the silencing of women around the world. We've got to be there for each other. And that's why here at What's Trending, we thought it was really important to share this story with you today. So do you think she should have apologized? And how will this incident create change in Japan? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe for more of What's Trending. And for more stories, go to whatstrending.com.